I think the Social Security Trust Fund's report should be interpreted as worse news than last year, but actually better than the news has been on the average for about the last 15 years. The actuary's projections have been pretty much uh, constant over that period. The system has enough money until sometime late in the 2030s or early 2040s. Uh, It does face a long-term deficit, and the sooner we deal with that problem, the better. But there's really no cause for hand-wringing that the sky is falling. There is a steady warning that it is time for Congress to face this problem and deal with it. Furthermore, it's a relatively easy problem to deal with. Small adjustments in revenues or in benefits would be sufficient to put the system on a a steady financial course for the indefinite future. In the case of Medicare, the prospects, uh, as indicated by the trust funds reports this week, are far more serious than in the case of Social Security. There are smaller reserves for hospital insurance, so the system is projected to exhaust those reserves much sooner. Furthermore, costs are projected to increase not only because the baby boomers are going to retire, which also affects Social Security, but in addition because the per capita costs of health care spending are growing faster than incomes. And that means you've got a double whammy. Big changes are going to be necessary, probably mostly on the revenue side, but some in the form of economies and expenditures in order to uh, assure that the Medicare system is Uh, in balance. The key point here is that in order to do those things within Medicare, the changes almost certainly will have to be and should be embedded in overall health system reform. That is the reason, in my view, why President Obama and leading administration spokespersons have been emphasizing that health reform is budget reform for the federal government.